Yes, my friends. I'm Professor Kumar, and you are learning at Galaxy Online Learning, a venture of Galaxy Tutorials. Continuing with our 12th standard lectures, okay, which will also help you in neat, very systematically prepared, no extra, visual, everything presented. Uh, you can see change in color kept for you, dark, uh, everything definitions. Slow them down, note everything down and then go through the book, it will become very easy and also will help you as I told you to prepare for your need. Of course, extra data for deed will be presented separately. Okay, so we will start with chapter number 2 of the 12th standard uh, textbook. Reproduction in lower and higher animals. My friend, first we have to define reproduction. Reproduction is the biological process of formation of new life form, new, no repair, new, okay, from existing, pre-existing, should be there first, not brand new, not from raw materials, okay, so this is what is reproduction. It is also called procreation or breeding for your need purposes. It is important for continuation of species, species will become extinct if it cannot reproduce and although you die, but the species continues. Man is born, man dies, but the species of man continues. From typically your textbook, lion will have a cub, sheep will have a lamb. So each one gives birth to a young one. So when you feel bored and all, get entertained, look at these. Remember your KG, uh, pre-primary and all. And let's go back to the portion. From lower classes, which we need here is types of reproduction. Distinguish between asexual and sexual. First, gametes role, involved or not involved. Second, meiosis role. Meiosis is required, not required. Third, number of parents required. Two different parents, one parent, no monkey. Fourth, what about genetics? Are you different? Are you same? Four points and blue means required to be written. Now, let's again lower class. There are two type of buds. Asexual budding you very well know. Internal buds, external buds. Endogenous bud, exogenous buds. Okay. I mean, this is like a distribution by the way. So, this is not 4, 5, 6, 7. So, internal buds are also called endogenous buds. They occur during unfavorable conditions. They are seen in sponges. External buds are also called exogenous blood uh, buds. They are found in favorable condition. Example, hydro. Nothing is extra given. They are required for one mark, two mark questions. Example of asexual bud and spawn, you can see gemmule. Label the diagram, what is A, what is X, what is Y. There is an opening, micropyle. Micropyle opening, like seed, goat, everywhere. Spicules made of silicon and calcium. Monoaxon, like needles, one axis. Then there is an inner membrane. Then there are archaeocytes. And there is an outer membrane. Okay, gemmule formation in sponges. Asexual reproduction. This is a real photograph showing you. See the how gemmules are born on the sponge cover. It looks like maize grains. This has been magnified quite a lot. Hydra also studied lower class. Uh, swelling comes out, which we call mother, there's no father. And it becomes a bigger bud, gets shaped, and finally it drops off and becomes a daughter hydra. What is important is sexual reproduction. First, fusion of gametes, amphi mixes. Amphi, we are like two mixes, two different type of gametes are required. And gametes must be formed, then only they are called gametes by meiosis. Mitosis, gametes we do not consider. Then, two phases are seen in such sexual reproduction. You are a child and you are an adult. Juvenile, when you are young, growing, reproductive mature, where you can breed. We don't take ages in animals like humans. Sexually reproductive animals show various breeding patterns. Season, goat and sheep, continuous, human and apes. Breeders throughout the year, like humans and apes, continuous breeders. Don't forget for need purposes. Human reproduction. Humans are viviparous, give birth to live ones. 
oviparous give rise to eggs. Then we have first gametes are formed, then we deposit the gametes, we fertilize, zygote is formed, embryo is formed, it is kept in the womb till it acquires a particular stage and then it is delivered or parturition. Biological name parturition. Implant and growing in the womb gestation. Please be careful with the word for your MCQs. We show sexual dimorphism. Male and female can be made out from external body anatomy. They are called secondary sexual characters. Male, beard, moustache, hair or chest, muscular body, enlarged Adam's apple. In females, uh, developed breast, broader pelvic, high pitch voice examples. Sexual dimorphism. Diagram to label, draw or uh, find what is part X or Y. Male reproductive system. Please note that I cancelled number 7. I could have just uh, blanked and made the 8 7. Do not label urinary bladder as male reproductive system. Because our book writes, which is correct, urethra serves the purpose for both urine and semen to come out. It is called, uh, that's why. But urinary bladder is not important. You don't require urine to push out the semen, etc. Please be careful. Do not label urinary bladder in the diagram for male reproductive system. So here we have a look. First are seminal vesicles on the top. Second, we are adding ejaculatory duct where they will come out. Third, you can see bulbo urethral gland like a bow tie there. there. Fourth, you can see urethral the tube which is breaking it out. Five, epipedimus, you can see the coil on top of the testes. And then you can see testes themselves. Then there is a prostrate which also delivers fluid. Ninth is vas deferens, which will take it, and uh, tenth is the penis. So, glands and semen come together, mix, and come out from number ten. Okay. Side view would look something like this. If I cut the organ, now you can look. You don't need to do this, but suppose it comes to label or something. That's why I gave you. So this is how same to same, but that is where other organs are placed with respect to you when sidewise. If you see. You can see the bladder now where it is and where is the large intestine, etc. Just for it. We do not need these labelings in detail in side view. Come here. Male consists of testes of the male gonads, this is the primary, accessory ducts, glands, and external genitalia. Four parts. Of course, you'll never get a 8 mark answer, 10 mark answer. You don't have to write only on testes, write on an accessory duct, write on some gland, something like in parts. Testes, we'll talk to first. One pair, okay? And mesodermal, what do you mean by mesodermal? We are doing embryology. Uh, three germ layers, three tissues formed earlier in the embryo are, as you know, ectoderm, endoderm, and mesoderm. This is from mesoderm, mesodermal in origin for neat purposes. They are located in scrotum, a sac like, which you'll see from side view. First, testes develop in the abdominal cavity. And then they come down through the inguinal canal, a small passage, come down and then they come in the scrotum. Okay, inguinal canal is important. When the testes get stuck here, in many cases, like 2 to 4 percent, they don't come down, then we will say that you know, this testes will not develop further. 20, uh, this develops 20 percent up to here, here it develops 60 percent and then after that more when it is already in the scrotum. Okay, so crypt. Hidden testes, crypt organism is what we will be looking at disorders for your deep purposes. Now testes are, we will see in details, side view for testes. Three layers are seen. Tunica vaginalis, you can see the dotted line I have drawn. Outer peritoneal covering. Peritoneum is that serotype like thing which tips the organ to the body wall. So when you run or when you walk, the organ is not getting displaced, it's stuck to the body. Tunica albuginea, you can see second layer, middle collagen connective tissue which connects all the parts of that organ. Tunica vasculosa as you see there, layer number three, you can see there, the blood vessels and partitions are formed by that. So this, please remember, you may have to label parts or, we, of course drawing is difficult and we don't normally try to draw, part as a function will be asked. X, what is X or uh, label the three layers of this, okay? So get ready with the diagram. Then, 
same thing, but shown with blood vessel. Now, if I cut spermatic cord from which it hangs, blood vessels come down. Then you can see ducts are there, afferent, efferent, prevailing diagrams, and uh, then there are all these lobules form chambers, and in the chambers are your seminiferous tubules. These are important for us. Okay, let's go further. When I take a TS of testes, comes for two marks. First, it is a, it has germinal epithelial cells, yellow, 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 yellow. We are showing. Okay, and in between are these purple cells or tolly cell or nurse cells. Then these undergo uh, gametogenesis and form spermatozoa. These provide nutrition. Okay, and in between we will get uh, cells of lady. Okay, interstitial cells you can see one clump, two clump here. These see, uh, secrete testosterone or the male hormone. Just points enough for answer and understanding. No extra put. Accessory ducts, these are what come outside of the testes. First, rete testes, the whole clump comes and form network. Second, vasa efferentia. You can see how it is joining and forming the vasa efferentia. 15 20 fine tubule arising from the rete testes. Okay, this part is inside, and that is what is going outside. Okay, then again in detail, what is epididymis? Every short book comes and you have to write one mark also. First, long, six meters, a coil. Upper is the head. Middle is the corpus or body. Lower is the corda or tail. Three parts are seen. Sperms get matured here. See, they are formed, they go in, they mature. And when they are ready, they are ready and they swim out. Vast difference and its role. It travels up to, you can see, up to. Okay, abdominal cavity loops over the ureter. Your ureter is there, it loops. We can't. In physics, we can't draw like that. Okay, and then we have ejaculatory duct. You can see there. And uh, blue liquid for you there. And urethra through which everything will come out. Okay, you, the opening of urethra is called urethral meters or urethral orifice. Office round board. Then, what are the extra glands? Seminal vesicles, they secrete alkaline seminal fluid, which contains fructose, fibrinogen, and prostaglandins. 60% of semen is formed here. Prostrate, this structure here, this releases milky white and slightly acidic prostatic fluid. 30% of semen contains citric acid, acid phosphatase, and other enzymes. Then we have Cowper's gland or bulbo urethral glands, like two bulbs at the side. Alkaline, viscous, mucus-like fluid, which provides lubrication for copulation. So, friction decreases and tissue damage does not occur on the reproductive organ. Right and open semen. Viscous, alkaline, milky, pH 7.2 to 7.7 meat purpose. Normally 2.5 to 4 ml of semen in a single ejaculate, 400 million sperms approx, and secretion of epididymis and excess glands, which we have already studied, together is called semen. Male reproductive fluid is semen. External genitalia, what is seen outside? Penis, okay, and inside it contains erectile tissue, okay, two and one. Corpora cavernosa, corpora spongiosa. And the swollen tip is called gland, okay. And on top, this is gland, and on top we have prepuce or foreskin which can come down and go back up till here. Scrotum, as I reminded you, we will be doing later. So this is that sac-like thing in which testes, uh, yeah, they are attached by gubernaculum so that they are suspended, and uh, itself it has a spermatic cord. Then abdominal cavity, inguinal canal, and if it doesn't come down, crypt orchidism. Remember, only 25% of testes is formed in the abdomen. You will be sterile, okay, because of this, if it doesn't come down. So, till you are of 3 years of age, you can do surgery, bring it down, it will survive, otherwise, testes, there are two, so other one will be, all, both don't get stuck at the same time. 
and everybody just gets stuck. This is one of the malfunctions. Temperature 2 to 3 degrees lower. That is why they hang down, which is necessary for spermatogenesis. So this one, one more question comes. Crypt organism. I mean just because everybody keeps getting this in more details. In abdomen 15%, in inguinal canal coming down 25%. When it reaches near scrotum, 60%. Only when it is lodged in the scrotum, 100% testes can function. So that is why cryptorchidism leads to sterility and development of uh, memory gland like structures even in males. Same thing, side view as I, you can still see all the details. These are for your understanding how they look, where they are located, etc. These diagrams don't come in the exam, but for need and all, they help you. Where they are, what is above, what is below, what is on the side, left, right, everything is being given. Okay, for interest. So you don't have to search anything on your King Google. We are bio kings. Female reproductive system. Pair of ovaries, pair of oviducts, uterus, vagina, and external uh, vulva and vestibular glands and membrane glands. Okay, please have a look. Uterus has got endometrium, myometrium, perimetrium, inside, middle, outside. Learn the names for CET. Okay. The passage in the uterus is called cervical canal. Okay. Cervix is the mouth of the uterus and below that algae vagina. Okay. So, and the body of the uterus is called fundus. The oviduct has got finger-like process, fimbriae, fallopian tube. Again, little bit proper in detail. Remember, gubernaculum was connecting the testes. So, we will see here also what is connecting. We have ovarian ligament. We have a round ligament and we have a broad ligament which keeps the ovaries <coughs> and the oviduct next to the uterus and they don't separate and they don't cause problem. Okay? So, you can see the attachment. First time. And five hormones are produced. Estrogen, progesterone, relaxin, activin, inhibin, and ovum. Ovum is so important. Development of the ovary. We are just putting it for your need purpose. Okay. So it shows you how uh, early embryonic development, the cells migrate into a sac, as you can see there. Then they come to the hinder, to the gonad. They are those blue like things, pre pre uh, germinal epithelium. Then they have to go mitosis and then they become ugonia. All we are trying to show. We do not require this for our exam. This is there for your understanding. Single ones then become separate in the wall like this. We are going to study histology of the ovary. Do not worry. Okay. Now, in female, oogenesis starts before your birth. Okay, 12 weeks. Okay, 2 million primordial cells already, which I was showing you in the earlier diagram. And these ugonium undergo mitosis will become primary oocyte and stop in prophase 1 till puberty and reproductive maturation. Before birth, don't forget. Then let's see the structure of the ovary. Describe the TS of the ovary or internal structure of the ovary. Number one, there is tunica albuginea cover outside the outline. Okay. Then there is cortex, the little brownish, and then there is the inside you can see the medulla, the brain like thing which you are seeing. Cortex has got germinal epithelium. We will see in the next diagram, but it has a layer of germinal epithelium below. And ovarian follicles develop. You can see they are all developing in various stages. Okay. Medulla is this loose part. It's called stroma. It's got blood vessels, nerves, and lymph vessels. And ovulation or release of the ovule will occur. It will break through the cortex also. Okay. Well, let us see the stages in development. Okay. Number one, we will have primordial cells, primary germ cells giving rise to primordial cells and then they become secondary follicle. Then you can see it becomes a, the oocyte and granulosa cell granules. Then they become primary, uh, primary follicle happens in the cortex. Then, but you think I'll be in now you can see in a layer. Then, then we come to the stage. So we will start. So it, this is here we are primary, then granulosa, then secondary. Okay. Then we come here. 
it will form a fluid filled antrum and zona pellucida as you can see is also formed okay and then it will burst and oocyte will come out ovulation and corona radiata only is left behind only on top now what is left corpus luteum okay yellow color and it becomes a body which secretes the uh, uh, hormones for further use okay medullary supplies the blood vessels the nerve fibers and does not take part what happens to corpus luteum we will watch okay let's see how that first primordial are formed so here we are seeing oogonia oocyte and then we have a primordial follicle okay during embryonic development some cells all known at a time huh? some cells become large and do mitosis form egg mother cells called oogonia we start here it has come out of the layer it goes into the stroma okay and uh, we don't require this it's called the egg tube of fluger which becomes the egg nest the top of that egg nest becomes the primary oocyte okay and then the next oogonium will protect and nourish it it becomes the slave it becomes a master such a structure is called primordial follicle okay so this becomes master these become his slaves they will feed him there are 2 million primordial follicles in fetus 1 million remain at birth and 40000 remain till puberty but we don't give rise to 40000 offspring Okay. Now all this destruction is called atresia for your need purpose. This is a regular body plan. The development into mature or graphic and follicle will only start when puberty and your secondary sexual, secondary sexual characters appear when sex hormones, sex hormones are released in the quantities. Okay. Now how is the graphian follicle formed? We start from primordial. we show the nucleus it's an oocyte and got granular cells then primordial follicle becomes primary follicles when they you can see these become distinct okay then this becomes secondary follicle they start forming layers okay and now you can see zona pellucida starts forming outside then we see further it will become early antrum small cavity full cavity develops the fluid mature follicle and then it is released ovulation we will look there also first cuboidal follicular cells then stroma as a theca as a layer secondary follicle layer is formed and then release is ovulation and temporary gland which was shown yellow corpus luteum is formed if there is no fertilization corpus luteum will become corpus albicans a white scar a dot will be left behind if there is fertilization what we drew yellow and it will release hormones it will exist draw the diagram label the part tell the functions or write down on graphian follicles outside theca externa inside theca interna more inside basement membrane inside granulosa cell then cavity which is liquor follicular and then we have cumulus oophorus cells purple and then we have corona radiata cells blue and then we have the space in between is called peri white line space then we have zona pellucida the brown ring and then and this on which it is planted is called a hillock okay and the central one is a oocyte please look at nine labelings learn to write at least one one sentence on it the outside inner to it more inner to it or whatever or innermost hillock hill like structure please learn to write nothing more is required these are the parts of a mature graphic and follicle let us see a ts same thing but i will help you more to understand theca externa see the connective tissue is that basement membrane and see the theca interna theca interstitial cell some cells are still there membrana granulosa okay see and antrum with fluid corona radiata or the corona outside zona pellucida the black and then granulosa cell forming that is all and then this is called the base just for we do not need such part labeling or diagram just for knowledge here i am giving you complete knowledge up to need what are the stages in the development of ovary in short first germinal epithelium then becomes oogonia then becomes primary oocyte 
then becomes primordial follicle which develops into primary follicle which metamorphosizes into secondary follicle uh, all this is not required too much the primary follicle secondary follicle graphene follicle and ovum there are stages that is where it develops in a gradual manner takes its own period of menstrual cycle to What is notes about fallopian tube or uterine tube? We duct. See the names. First pair, left and right, you'll have two. Three regions. First, we are having isthmus, neck. And between them, when it's already entering the uterus, intramural, inside. Then we have ampulla, both broader and broader. Then infundibulum, we'll have finger like and funnel like. Okay? These are called fibri and the mouth is called ostia. Okay? Cornua or isthmus is like horns, two horns coming out of the head of the animal. Uterus. What do we write on uterus? Hollow, muscular, pear shaped, behind the bladder, three regions fundus, body, cervix, and three layers. As I told you last time, endometrium, myometrium, and Uterus is also called the womb in simple language. Vagina, what do we write? First, tubular, elastic, muscular, soft and flexible. Gives the lubrication and sensation because nerve endings are here. Female copulatory organ equal to the penis and lies between the cervix and the vestibule down. It has got inner mucosal lining for releasing mucus to reduce the friction and outer adventitial layer. Opening of the vagina is vaginal orifice here, okay, which has got a hymen or a membrane which protects it. Vagina is that flow for menstrual blood to come out and birth of the baby parturition occurs from here. External genitalia, which we have to study. First, together they are called vulva, okay, or pudenda. They are vestibule, labia minora. Okay, clitoris, and then we have got labia majora and mons pubis. So you will have to learn these just for labeling in the exam. Again, there are two glands like corpus there. These are Bartholin glands. Okay, Bartholin glands, corpus gland, homologous. They release lubricating fluid. Mammary glands, modified sweat glands, contain fatty, you can see the yellow, and a glandular tissue, you can see the light purple, and numerous lactiferous ducts, which are seen as white tubes, and 15 to 20 lobes are there, 15 to 20, and each lobe has got alveolar glands and a duct, okay, they come toward outside, towards the nipple, and which is surrounded by the areola or tissue, okay. Release of milk. Only women who have given birth will have functioning memory glands because of the hormonal change. Let's have a look in details for need now. Alveolar glands, alveolar glands look like this in detail. We know from epithelium in the 11th standard. They all secrete milk, all components, calcium, vitamins, water, milk. It comes out in the tubule, okay, milk duct, and all these join to the memory ducts. And you can see, uh, you call a milk duct, mammary duct, galactophores for your need purpose, and they uh, converge all joint towards the nipple for the release of the milk. Take a side view and see this is a section just for we do not need the diagram, the labeling, etc. But if you are a, a future doctor, you should have a look so you will understand. Suspensory ligament pulls up the uh, mammary gland, etc. Nothing great. Small dogs, major dogs, everything. We don't need both here. Okay. We'll take a break because I'll set back the disturbance and we will continue.